Welcome back to Fishing with Big Nasty. Today we're going to show you what to do when you go to the river or lake or stream or pond unprepared like we did today. We came unprepared. This was kind of a spur of the moment trip. So we're going to show you what to do in a minute to get to fishing quick. Y'all stay tuned. Alright, so we don't have any bait. So we see all this litter on the ground over here. We don't have any bait for brim or catfish or anything. The only thing we got is carp bait. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rake this litter back just a little bit. I'm going to try to find a worm. Oh, look at that. Look at that already. Already. Got to watch out for snakes. It's a nice little worm already. I just scrape the litter back. Scrape this litter back. Wet litter is best. And you look for grubs or anything like that. I usually rake it back with my feet. Just in case there's a snake in there. There's another worm. So we got two worms to start with. That's what we're gonna go with for now. So. Alright. We caught one. There's a little place right here behind this boat. They're just tearing it up. So that was the first one. Mike's going to try to catch us another one. I'm going to go over here and get this one cut up and put on put on the uh, hook and get him out there. But uh, as you can see, Mike's getting some package over here. I see a bram over there up under that boat. Oh, here's bram all up under this boat. Now this in between this boat be a good spot. Right in between there. There we go. Got another one. So that's two. Now it's time to kick back and fish a little bit. It's uh, a little rough when you come out fishing with no bait. You got to find bait and catch bait and stuff like that. But most of my fishing trip, that's what they consist of. So um, right now we got three catfish rods in the water and one carp rod and I want you to look and see where Mike is sitting he's sitting in the water on a stool got his rod set up on a little sandbar out there and that's where he said he wants to sit so we might get a couple more rods out in a few minutes we got we end up getting four brim and um cut two of them up for bait and we're just gonna save the other two for now and if we need more bait we're gonna go catch it but uh it was uh cutting into our fishing time a little bit so we just kind of stopped and sit back a little bit gonna enjoy the ride for a little bit so y'all stay tuned i got him whatever it is Yes, a catfish. Thank you. He got my puff. He got my puff, Fred. Yeah, wow. That ain't cool, man. Easy, man. Easy. Be still. You got my puff. I put that steel in that lip, didn't I, boy? Huh? Pretty little channel cat. I can't say it. 
Yeah. Wow. Yes, you go again. Um, through the chest. <laughs> Got a bluegill through the chest. Pretty little bluegill. Bait. Broke one of my hooks off out there. So that's what was hitting my carp rig. So. Y'all stay tuned. Right on the black one. Another catfish. That's number two. Dink Dinkville today. Did I say Dinkville? Dinkville. Bad. Get a release here. Took off like a rocket. I think he's real big. Tighten that drag up a little bit. There he comes. I'm starting to see some swirlage. He's fighting good on that little light medium rod, though, ain't he? Yeah, it's fighting. Don't let him get wrapped around a chair. They're all about that size today for some reason. He had looked like. Yeah, a little old thing, a little old dink, yeah. but he's alright. 